You're watching Real English with Real Teachers. Real Teachers. Welcome back to Real English with Real Teachers with myself, Charlie and Harry. Today, we're going to be teaching you some phrasal verbs in the form of stories because we all love to tell stories. Listen to our examples and try to guess the meaning like a native would learn normal language. Okay, let's get going. Welcome to Real English with Real Teachers with Harry and Charlie. <laughs> So Charlie, I divorced my wife. Oh no, why? Couldn't stand it anymore. So I let her take everything. She took the cat, she took the kids. Oh my God, have you seen your kids since? No, but I dropped by to see the cat the other day. <laughs> you dropped by to see the cat? I dropped by to see the cat. Did you not drop in on your kids? No, because um, I often drop by to see them as they're leaving school. We just have a quick hello as they um, leave the school. Oh, okay, okay. Is it is it awkward when you drop by to see the cat and you bump into your ex? <laughs> yeah, it is really awkward, yeah. But, you know, I like to drop by and see her. So there we have story one using the phrasal verb drop by or drop in, which are virtually the same. But did you understand the meaning? Did you understand the meaning? Well, let's see. We've got three options for you. A, was it to feed the cat? B, to visit the cat briefly? Or C, to jump on the cat? Which was it? It was B, to visit the cat briefly. I really needed some glasses the other day. So I was looking around town and asking every shopkeeper, do you have reading glasses? And it was getting late and I went into the last shop and he just told me to jog on. He just told you to jog on? How rude. It's really rude. Why, were you a bit rude to him? You could say I was rude, but he didn't need to tell me to jog on. Yeah, that's a, that's a little, bit, little bit rude, isn't it? If I said jog on to someone, it's quite confrontational. You know, jog on, idiot. There we go. Story two. Did we mean that the sales assistant told Charlie to go for a run? Or did he rudely reject Charlie? Or did he tell him to leave in a rude way? Well, here we've been a little bit mean to you as the answer is both B and C. The phrase can mean both to rudely reject someone and to be told to leave in a rude way. Chaz. Yes. You know, I really don't like girls that talk too much. Oh, I do know that. You know, I was going on a date the other day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it happened. I turned up. She was really nice. Stunner. We sat down. We ordered our steaks and our Cokes, and our wines. Thirsty. Uh, really, yeah, really thirsty. And uh, you'll never guess what happened next. Oh, she didn't. She didn't rabbit on, did she? Yeah. She was rabbiting on during the whole meal. Oh, what a fail. Harry doesn't like anyone who rabbits on. I hate it when people rabbit on. And that doesn't mean I hate rabbits, does it, Charlie? No. When Harry was a child, he had a pet rabbit. So he likes rabbits, but he doesn't yeah. like people to rabbit on. Once again, what does the phrase mean to rabbit on? Hmm. Does it mean to eat lots of carrots? Does it mean to show your teeth too much when you speak? Or does it mean that you talk too much? Mm-hmm. It is C, you talk too much. Harry, you know how much I love my football team, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, you're a big football guy. And you know that I've got two season tickets, right? 
Yeah, yeah. One for you, one for uh, Stacy, right? One, one for Stacy, or one for a lucky friend who I really, really like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll never guess what Gavin was trying to imply on the weekend. <laughs> Oh God, what was Gavin trying to imply? Well, quite clearly, Gavin really likes my football team, Chelsea. Sure. And he was saying all day, he was saying, I'd love to go to watch a game. Oh God. He was trying to worm an invite. Absolutely. Just trying to worm his way into getting a seat with me. Oh man. I hate it when people try and worm their way into things. Did it's you horrible. invite him? No, I didn't invite him. He just tried to worm his way into being with me. Getting a season ticket for free. God, that is just unbelievable. But mate, have you um have you got someone to go with you to the football this week? <laughs> you trying to worm in on another invite? All right, this phrase is rather strange in our opinion, but it's a lovely one to use and show your detailed knowledge of phrasal verbs. But do you fully understand it? That is the question. Is it A, to try and involve oneself before being asked? Is it B, to make a mess? Or is it C, to steal something? It is A, to try and involve oneself before being asked. Chaz. Yes. I went on another date the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um, honestly, she didn't look great on her Tinder profile. She didn't look good on the picture? No, she didn't look great on the picture, but she had a great personality. So I said I'd meet her. Okay, and in person, how did she look? Well, turned out she uh, scrubs up pretty well. She scrubs up pretty well? Yeah, she scrubs up pretty well. She made herself look uh, real, real nice. Do you think that she thought you scrub up well? One can only hope so. She, uh, she hasn't called me back yet. Oh. To scrub up, does this mean to have a talent for washing dishes? Does it mean to flirt outrageously? Or to look good? when trying to make an effort? The answer is C. They may indeed flirt outrageously if they scrub up well, but the meaning is to look good when trying to make an effort. So, uh, Harry, you know how I was deeply in love with that girl many moons ago? <laughs> many moons ago yeah i remember man you were really um smitten and you know how uh she used to write lovely messages to me oh yeah wasn't she a darling she was she was a real darling well i remember i wrote a letter back to her but Wrong. made a bit of a mistake oh god you cocked it up I cocked it up because I wrote this really lovely letter that was rather graphic, shall we say. <laughs> and uh, instead of writing Miss uh, Philippa Thompson, I wrote Mr. Thompson. Um... I left out the name and forgot the S, so it went to her dad. Oh my God. How graphic was this letter? Because that's a real cock-up. That is a real cock-up, isn't it? How graphic was this letter? We'll leave that to the imagination, Harry. But uh, I definitely, we can definitely say I cocked up big time. Not the first time you've cocked up, is it? No, no, I've cocked up many times. And lastly, to cock up. Now, we had to mention the obvious, so is it A, to accidentally hurt your penis, B, to get an erection, or C, to make a mistake. No, it is not A, nor B, it is C, to make a mistake. Okay, that's all for today, folks. 
We hope you have enjoyed this lesson. We hope you have learned something. See you again soon for another lesson of Real English with Real Teachers. And don't forget to join us live every Wednesday and write your own examples of the phrasal verbs that you have learned in the comments section. We look forward to hearing from you. Yeah, thanks guys. See you on Wednesday. See you. Bye. See you, Harry. See you, Harry.